We're up. And we're ready to go. I'll tell you one second. It's setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. It says I'll stream. Not yet. Okay. We are okay. Up. We are up. How are you doing, everybody? Welcome to a bonus edition of Two Legs, a Paul McCartney podcast. This is a special night for us. This will be the first time that Andy and I will be doing an unboxing of the brand new Flaming Pie archive box set. We are looking at the archive, uh, the big box, and we're also looking at the, the vinyl set right here. So, <clears throat> excuse me one second. So we're going to do a quick, you know, 20, 25 minutes or so, see how this goes. Uh, first time we're doing live. First time we're doing live. I said, yep. I didn't cheat. I left my box sealed. I had to wait. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, but I left this one sealed, so I didn't cheat either. Yeah, but, the, but come on. It's the vinyl. Come on. That, that, <laughs> this is the goods. You cheated with this. Fine. This, come if, on. But, if, but, if it, but if it means anything, I haven't listened to anything yet. So open it, yes. I've been too crazy busy the last couple of days, my friend. Every time one of the, one of these box sets come out, <clears throat> it ends up just being a crazy week for me. Every time. So you actually you, not even the streaming content or anything? You haven't listened to any of the demos? No, the only thing I've listened to is the uh, the instrumental broomstick. That's, that's it. it. That's the that's it. That's it. So hopefully starting tonight, we'll get a little we'll get a little uh, crazy with it. Uh, hopefully I'll at least listen to the uh, remastered album. And I did. I did listen to just before we went live tonight. I did listen to the uh, the the vinyl edition, the three LP. Um, and again, it's, 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 I really enjoyed it. It's the half speed master. Now I purchased uh, flaming pie originally in 97, right. uh, domestically, uh, and also a UK import. And there's, when well, you'll see, when you open up the vinyl, there's a little bit of a, there's a card of an explanation, you know, explaining why they went to two LP half speed, half, okay. the half speed master. And, right. you know, it's pretty interesting. You'll to open that up. You'll see, um, because I've listened to it for years on the regular vinyl. Um, right. And, you know, I it is like 50, the album's about 50, 54 minutes, something like that, right? So, right. Um, you know, the way the guy, the way that, and I forget the gentleman's name on the note, you'll see when you read it, um, you have to compress that sound into, into and sometimes the quality is not that great on a, on a vinyl disc. And right. now with the half speed, um, double half speed remaster, it's really nice. Like it's, it's spread out. I mean the track, so we wouldn't we can go through that first. I'll save the box. Right. Um, okay, so here's the vinyl, the card. It's, it's very wrapped. nice. Right. Yeah. It's wrapped with a uh, little the, casing it's got, here. It's got the nice little uh, cover thing on the side here. Mm -hmm. And the font is red now, which is different. Okay. So we got here's the here's the front. Yeah. And then and then the back. Nice so high on the box. And nice on the spine, it'll go right on your bookcase or your vinyl or wherever you keep it. Keep okay. It uniform. Gotcha. Um, okay, so the the cover is the the original cover then, right? This is the exact same red, cover, except, except with red font. Red font. Okay. And then you bought this uh, album when it, when it first came out as well. You got it on vinyl, right? Yeah, two two copies. Uh, uh, Capital pressing that I bought for ten dollars. And uh, uh, wait a minute, what was that? How much? I bought. I bought. A, it's still sealed. It's in my room. I bought a capital. Ten dollars. I bought a capital records pressing for ten dollars. In '97, I, when vinyl is pretty much dead, Cartney's still releasing stuff on vinyl, and you find a copy for ten dollars. That's amazing. At, at J and R Music World, which was in down, okay. which was in downtown Manhattan near the World Trade Center, and it was, you know, it was a big, big outlet, and they had it. It was cheap, and I bought it. The UK import was ended, ended up being much more money. Um, <laughs> But that's the one, and then but that one wasn't sealed, and I and I've played that record for over twenty years, um, mm -hmm. and I just played this tonight, and the sound quality is night and day with the half speed. And it's pretty much going to be only like about around three songs per side, then. Just about that, yeah. I mean, you've got um, on side one, you've got uh, the uh, song we were singing, "World Tonight." Right. You wanna, and then uh, some sides have three, some sides have four. Side two, and it, but it's just really clean. I mean, I just listened to the whole thing before we went on tonight. Right. It, it was really nice. It was put together, uh, you know, and, and and if you see, did you see the card? In the Not yet. Not yet. I'll so, get to it in one second, my friend. 
So in there, so there, there's a Fleming Pie booklet, which is basically just a CD booklet in bigger form. Okay. Right? That's this. Ah, okay. And all this is is the booklet, is the, is the CD booklet um, reprinted in a bigger format now. Okay. Um, with the liner notes, which were written by um, Mark Lewison, which, are, which is nice. And he's credited again on here, which is nice to see. Really? Okay, yeah. so here we go. Uh, Miles Showell. There it is. Yeah, read that. Yeah, he's, he's going to explain why they went the half speed route, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying. Okay. So that's yeah. going to be in with the the first uh, first two sides of the vinyl. So I'll read that. Yeah. And I put this sucker on the uh, turntable. And then when we get to vinyl two, or I mean, the, yeah, the, the second record, that's when you're going to find the... the uh, the uh, sleeve the, or the jacket, yep. what do you want to call it, the insert where you get the lyrics. Yeah, the lyrics are in there. It's almost exactly like the original CD. Yeah, just what I was just oh. saying. Yeah, it, It's exactly, it's, it's that. It's the CD. Right. It's the CD booklet, um, just in bigger form. But nice. Right. You know, but this was really handy, having this and explaining why. You know, because right. I didn't really understand what the half-speed mastering was, but it's true, you know. Um, right. You know, Flaming Pie originates from a period when the CD was allowing longer running times, and as a result, this album was a little too long for a good quality single LP. And he says, while it could be fit to made on a single on a vinyl disc, compromises would need to be employed to the studio. When it's true, you know, they probably did do some compromising to get that right. to fit on one disc. But well, here's the thing now. Now, we know now that on Record Store Day, we're going to get uh, the McCartney album at half speed as well. Yes. Yeah. And uh, a lot of artists have done that. Peter Gabriel's mm -hmm. music has been that done that way. And right. now, uh, some, and uh, hey, you know, if it, okay. I just, you know, it was a great work. I, listen, I just listened to it. It's great. Now you've got the third. Right. You've got the yep. third. You got the so again, here's the regular album. This is a two LP set. Yeah. All right. There you go. Looks good. Looks nice. It's heavyweight. You can definitely tell it's a 180 gram vinyl. Oh, it's heavy. Yep. And then we get the, the third. LP, nothing else in the box after I take the, the third LP out. Nope. Take that in. Now we're going to get the download card in here, the high res card in here, right? Or No. No. It's only with the, the box set then, huh? That's right. Wow. Unless, unless I missed it. I didn't think there yeah. was one in there. And then we got uh, the sheet here that says what what uh, what track, is on the vinyl. Which is track listing. Yeah. Which is you uh, side A has got the songs we were singing, the world tonight. These are all home demos. Uh, yep. If you wanna, some days, young boy, and side B we got Calico Skies, Flaming Pie, Souvenir, Little Willow, Beautiful Night, and Great Day. Now that Beautiful Night is a, is, is that number <coughs> five demo in the studio. It's not a home demo. Right. So on top of so that's all the this, demo. Right. Yeah, that's the demo. And you've got those downloads on the McCartney site too now. Right. So there's that, and then it's pretty cool. The vinyl is really cool. You got uh, A side, yeah. which just has the the, fl the the flaming pie, really nice, and the, the B side to C side. Uh -huh. So really nice, really looking vinyl. Actually, you know, really heavy weight. Yeah, nice, nice packaging, nice and nice right. and box like this. So I'm guessing the pie is the front. I thought the I thought the I thought this was the front, but this is the back. Okay, so the pie is the front and plenty of pie is the back. So that's fine. Yeah, it's nice, nice package there. So yeah. um, we'll go there now for the Megilla. <laughs> the Megilla, which I you know. All right, I, hold on one. A lot of my friends overseas got theirs uh, last week. Tom got his yeah. a couple of days ago, which was nice. Um, mine came today via my nice um, uh, postman, and it was like sweltering hot out, and I was so oh, happy. It wasn't an uh, Amazon delivery. It was the your post. Uh, post well, I think, I think the USPS does Amazon stuff. Well, yeah, I, it was too, but um, mine came via Amazon today. Yeah, so he uh, he, he he brought it, and uh, I was so I said he was sweating. I said, hey, "Have a bottle of water," and I gave him a nice bottle of water for his. Oh, it's such a nice guy. Okay, so once again, here we go. The vinyl set, big box. You got the uh, flaming pie, um, and on the back in in red, you have flaming pie. I'm it open, but I'm trying to keep my. I like to keep my little hype stick. And there's your little. Yeah, you know what? This, you know what? I got the. You know, I wanted to, to show you. You know what? I, you remember the movie uh, Christmas Story when they get the sock when they're opening wrapping gifts? Yeah. They get the socks. 
Yeah, that's me with this fucking well, shoot, front from the French with uh, the hype sticker. Doesn't mean anything to me. You don't like you don't go for the hype stickers. Don't care about it one way or the other. I'm a little I'm a little nuts so with that. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> no, I get you. there's a lot of people a lot of big fans of the hype sticker out there. There are. So this is, can, this is like this is like wings over America big. This thing. Oh yeah. So this is yeah. Girth size is is generally is roughly the. Uh, uh, Wings Over America is, is a little thicker, uh, but yeah, it's definitely big size. Oh, and then I like the fact that it's got the magnetic seal on the side. It, I see. I didn't even know that. So yeah, so it's oh. magnetic here. So the first one that's got the magnetic seal on it, which is really cool. Okay, innovative. Okay, I like. All right, I like what he's doing. All right, that's, that's, yeah. that's nice. Oh, all, all right. right. So I just looked at my number, number fifty-six twenty-eight. I got fifty-six eighty-three. Holy crap. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's, That's cool. Hilarious. Yeah. This is it. We waited. A, how long did we wait for this? Uh, What? Uh, 18 months or so? When did we first hear Flaming Pie was coming? Uh, January, February, something like that. Not of this of this year? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, earlier this year. Oh, it's oh, so, well, it's so there long were long. whispers that Flaming Pie was going to be next. But when, then we got... The, you right. know, you know, hop and form. You know, some right. things you can believe, some things you can't. Right. January feels like a year ago. Yeah. yeah. So, but here nice big set, same so we, size as the rest. Yep. Yeah. So we open it up here. We've got the nice little story about why he did it. Let's see. Yep. What one book here? Okay. One book is is really nicely put together. So this yeah. is the this is the book that tells the story of Flaming Pie. Has all the interviews with Paul, the story. And, and inside, I guess tons of probably great photos from Linda. Oh, we, great, great photos. And one of the really cool things in, in here, too, is you, when you scroll in, you're going to get six um, recipes from Linda, six pie where's recipes. That? Where's that? Well, I got to find out, man. Keep, 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 right. going, keep going. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So nice picture of Linda right there. There. Very nice picture of Linda. And then six different recipes. Uh, let's see here. You got, you got this your. Is right, up, this is right up your alley, man. Come on. Yeah. Cheddar cheese pie. Interesting. Okay. Uh, pumpkin pie, tomato pie, uh, beefless pie. Uh, apple, got, pie. Uh, apple, apple pie. Apple, apple pie, pie and coconut cream pie. Flaming Pies was first issued in 1997 to promote the release of, Fla of Flaming Pie. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to dive into this and read it. That's a great photo right there. Yeah. So again, I mean, as with the rest of the the books, that uh, you know, a lot of great uh, photos. You got Steve Miller. Looks like they're at Steve Miller's uh, studio ranch there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Linda. You got Jeff Emmerich there. You got the the camps of all the of everyone there. Uh, oh, we got some here. anthology era photos in here for the nice. Yes. Yes. Wow. So yeah, some really good stuff in here. See, and I think like he's so cool with it being aligned to the anthology, which is nice, you know. Right. And then this is uh, I love I vote I like this picture a lot, Paul. That's the one that's been floating out there. That's the one yeah. in France. Yeah, I I, I love I, I like long hair, Paul. I'm not I'm not really a big fan of short hair, Paul. Same. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we don't, not, you know, not that like the '73 mullet, Paul, was great, but I mean, right. <laughs> no, that flowers and dirt, Paul, look was yeah. Great. Oh, a picture of the singles. Couple, like. yeah, a couple uh, cool pictures here. You got Paul there in his robe. This one I really like. You got Linda and, and the girls. And the girls there. there. And you got James with long hair. You really don't see James, a picture of James with really long hair. No. So that's no. really cool. Oh, here's some here's some promotion. Oh, this is the Town Hall Square with John Fugel saying. Yep. Yeah. And I heard yeah, the, here's the, I heard, uh, those, the pictures yeah. you're talking about the, with the Threedles. So They're awesome. Good uh, stuff. Really nice stuff. Like they included that. Oh, this the stuff yeah. on Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, '97. This. I mean, this was like such a big deal back then. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I remember picking this up at Best Buy. Yeah. I remember getting it on the day it came out. Went straight in the CD player. That's it, man. And you, you yeah. still have it. You, you still have it, right? Oh. Nice stuff in here. Uh, pictures <laughs> from the beautiful night. Uh, um. Um, video shoot, so yeah, nice stuff. Yeah, who do we have in this photo here? This look, that's, that's Jeff Emmerich. Jeff Emmerich, yeah, looks like probably recording team, or whatnot. Yeah, uh, that might be John Jacobs, who, um, 
the crowd, I think that is John Jacobs, who used to engineer. Looks a little older there, but I think so. I have right. to look and see who's who. Yeah. But uh, another nice picture of Linda here. So John Jacobs, yeah, it was John Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh, and then the um. Well, I have to keep diving into it. Oh, there's 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 uh, there's Ginsburg, Paul and Ginsburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. 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 A lot of good photos of Paul and Ginsburg in here. There's uh, um, some poems in here. That's really cool. There's one called Day with George, which um, uh, looks really interesting. Need to read that. Haven't really read. I just you know flipped through this the other night. Um, so I look forward to uh, reading that. Um, really, you opened it, but you haven't really dived into it, right? Correct. Yeah. I just made sure everything was there, really. Right. So talk about <clears throat> the history, a little bit of Ballad of Skeletons, how Allen Ginsberg came to Paul with the poem, asking if, um, if uh, he knew any musicians that would like to play guitar and accompany him on stage at the Royal Level yeah. Hall. And Paul was like, hey, well, why don't you try me? So, and then, you know, and then also um, Ginsburg um, returned the favor by suggesting a, a poet to Paul for the poem in Standing Stone. Okay. These just get better and better with every release, man. They just- Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's another one, one of, of, of Paul and-, and Yeah, Alan and Alan, nice one, nice one. Let's um, see Here's a pretty cool picture here. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Man, so we got we so if you ordered this from Amazon and you paid the full price, you should have gotten refunds because I think Tom. Yeah, had... yeah, exactly. So I got uh, forty seven dollars uh, refunded to me. I got the email for that yesterday. So apparently, what the the day it, day before it came out, it must have dropped in price. Uh, finally, after what two months, two however months? month, um, yeah, yeah, two months waiting for it to drop in price. So, so finally, did so instead of what, two instead of two fifty five, I think it ended up becoming what the two ten or something 10 like that, two ten or two fifteen or something. Yeah. Like that. Which yeah, again, I mean, if you think about what what would we pay for flowers in the dirt? Flowers in the dirt was probably you know a hundred something, right? Yeah, more like one hundred fifty maybe. One hundred fifty. So you know that's three years ago now at least. So yeah. Three years inflation, everything else. I, 200 or so for this package, I, I think, is, is more than fair, I, I think. Yeah, it is. But, you know, it, it's funny because I, I do think Sorry, it's... Sam. Love it's, you, it, Yeah, <laughs> it is a little hot. However, you know, it's funny thing. I was looking on eBay earlier today. There are people are selling this, the three disc final set for 60 from from 54 all the way up to $100 already. And now. that's what I'm talking. Yeah. Now, today. That's what I'm talking about when, when, when the you know, McCartney team or any camp, whether it be Prince or, you know, Bruce Springsteen, they see what people are charging on eBay and they're thinking, hey, if those people can get that money, why can't we get that money? So that's why I think, um, you know, these sets are creeping up in price every time. Or because if they get put out and then they just get, you know, and then somebody else puts them out and just charges, you know. Right, exactly. Yeah. Want, they, right. yeah. They'll they'll charge twenty thirty dollars more. So then when the right. next box set comes up comes out, it might it might cost you know another fifty bucks. Right. A nice couple of photos of that uh, Oprah appearance here. Not a couple. Yeah. Of, yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. That was a fun yeah. one. And I had, yeah. I, so a lot a lot of good stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. As usual. Um, yep. I don't. I keep hearing that Bishop's Gate is an available download. I don't know if that's true though. Mm. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about it yet. Okay. Now, what do we got in here next? What's next? All right. So the next thing we got is the CD case. So that's what this <clears> one. <throat> okay. Yeah. So again, this is the the cover of the CD case, and then this is the oh, back got a, of this. He's got a Magrid, He's got a Magritte painting on the back. So he loves Magritte. Right. Yes. So you open it up. You got the the songs on the regular album, which is, and then you got the CD here. Okay. Then you open it up. And then you get the 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 CD bot or the CD um, um let me, the CD booklet right oh, here. And the download. Okay. Phone. okay. Yeah. So here's the CD single. So again, it's just like the vinyl. Okay. It's an, it's bigger size. It's got everything that's in on the disc in here as well with the lyrics, like the original. Is that what, the, is that what this is yeah. too, Mom? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, so this is the same thing as this same thing. As exactly. The right. So then you open up the other side and then you get all your bonus discs and DVDs. And then you got, you know, the high res card. And then unfortunately, you know, uh, the um... coming soon, London town and back to the egg. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. I'll tell you what, when you take the card out and you flip it over. Okay. And um, see, and it's misleading because you, you, it's, it's, what does it say? What does the top say? On, on this side? Oh, the, yeah, there you go. Yeah, on that side. The side you're looking at right now, what does the top say? Other titles available. In the what? In the Paul McCartney Icon Collection. See, right. that's a little misleading because how many of them are out of print? Those first, what, those first 10, 9, 10 are out of print, right? Well, no. Uh, With the as box sets. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, as the box sets. Yeah, you can't get, you can't find it. You can't find right. it. Right. Now, they've been reissued on CD and vinyl, but the box set, those box well, that sets. Might be, that might be in the plan because you got to remember that from, from all those first ones were all when Paul was on Concord. So Right. Yeah, they're all on Concord. So we're hoping maybe one day capital. they'll get reissued uh, on Capitol. Not that and I'm going to buy Not that right. we're going to. Are you going to buy another box set if it's on Capitol? No, no, no. Not a, no. We're but not, we're not that crazy. The people that didn't, yeah, the people that didn't get a chance to buy these boxes after Concord stopped putting them out, they'll have the opportunity then to get them. That's only fair too, because I mean, they, you know, I mean, the, the archive series this year is ten years old in right. November. See, but see, still people will still bitch about that because they'll be like, "Oh, he's trying to make a buck again by putting these out." No, they're just no. they're they're OOP. They're out of print. So yeah, now no, here's I, your chance to here's the they're out now, so people that didn't get them that can now buy them. Right, you want to go buy the two CD, you know, uh, Speed of Sound or Venus of Mars? You can't. You still can't do that. You can't all the the speed of sound that's on that card right now with the archive on the side, it those are all discontinued. Okay, no, so even on the two yeah. CDs, the two yeah yeah. So all it is is just when you buy them now, they're just a single disc. So when they got reissued on vinyl, the colored vinyl over the last couple of years, yeah, that was cap. That was the that capital. Was capital. That was capital. But you're not getting those extra stuff like you did with Concord. That was the Concord releases, the, right? Correct. Right. Exactly. Right. I got you. Right, and that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like a little misleading when you see that card saying check for other other archive editions that are still available. They're, they're not available. No. No. Right. So, but anyway. So the CD you mentioned the CD, which we don't either of us don't have yet, but a buddy of mine got it. And um, well, you have this. You're talking about the two disc, right? The two disc. The two disc did not have the track listing on the back. It's just a sticker with the tracks on a sticker. When you take it off, really? when you take it off, the back cover is just that. Right. It's just that photo. No track no listing. Yeah. Hmm. On the on the two CD. Okay. So, all right. So we've gone through the we've gone through the. Uh, okay. Then this is like I thought this was another book. That's how thick this thing was. <laughs> so right. We've got our another. We've got our lyric sheet here. Yeah. Let's, so next up, you got the you got like a Manila uh, envelope here. Okay. Can I now, this is pretty cool. I, can I tell you how much I love that it magnetizes when it closes? That, that I'm, yeah, I'm, I think it's I'm great. I think it's great. Yeah. So this is pretty cool because you're getting all the you're getting like lyrics and drawings. Lyrics, right? The lyric pack. Yeah. yeah. So this is pretty much the lyric pack here. So this has been standard now for the last few reissues. He gives them to us. And right. These photocopies and stuff. Oh, a guitar pick. What? I got to check and see. I did you get one? I got to check and see. It was inside of the little willow. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's see. Little willow. World tonight. Cool. Wow, World tonight had like a lot of lyrics. Page. All right, here's uh, songs we were singing. Lyric sheet. Nice. Oh, Love Mix. He's got lyrics for Love Mix in here. Where's, yeah. the, where's Love Mix on the box set? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's got, he's got Young Boy written as Fine Love. Uh, fine yeah. Love. Cool. This, um, this is uh, Come Tumbling Down. Lyrics. Is there a lyric? Wait a minute. That's like my one of my favorite songs ever. Where's that? Yeah, it's a pink sheet. Let's see it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, this is going back. Well, wow. Wow, love comes yep. down now. Yes. Okay, next we got uh, um, it's three sheets, they're all together. And it's uh, I can see the world tonight. So at yeah, that moment in time, it was together, yeah. 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 Yeah, Paul obviously, you know, went through some serious lyrical revisions on that one. 
Yes. Um, I will we've got one in here for owe it all to you. I will yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, correct. And then you got um fine love, which ended up being becoming young boy. Young boy, yeah. Yep. Really nice. Uh like you said, love mix. Yeah. Or did you say love mix? Yeah. Love, love mix. mix, yeah. Love yeah. mix. Again, so he included the stuff that he from the eighties into this, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Again, another fine love uh, sheet. Yep. Which is two sides. Looks like we got a little song we were singing here. For a while, we could sit. Yeah. Then uh -oh. the demo version of that is nice. Different, different. Has, there's a little bit of a twist to that. You'll notice when you listen to it. Okay. Yeah. I look forward to it. Um. Yeah. I owe it all to you, little Willow. This is like a photo, and then I give it all my love to, to you. Oh, same love. This is more same love lyrics. Okay. Right. Cool. With a little picture. I'll be a self portrait. Okay. Yep, little there. Willow right there. Yep. Then you get uh, the flame. The flame. Yes. Oh my God. This is a reproduction of that. Was this a club sandwich thing? I wish we could ask, or, or no. Oh, no, club sandwich is, is around. Uh, we'll see it in a second. Oh, okay. All right, so this is just a flame. Right. Yep. It's like a little... Uh... Open it up. It's, it's just one piece of paper folded. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I, this is cool. Looks very um, tabloidy, you know, which is cool. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and then you get some kind of self portrait that <laughs> looks pretty funny. Yeah, no, this is cool. Oh, the little crossword puzzle on the back. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All a bunch of good stuff in this. Mm hmm. Next. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yep, oh, I dropped it. Was that the there pick? Yeah, found the pick. You got the pick. I don't know if you can okay. see it. Uh -huh. It's the. Nice. Uh, Flaming Pie guitar pick. Yeah. So make sure we keep that in here. Cool. Next. All right, you're uh, a little bit ahead of me here now. Yeah. Are you, are you gonna put everything back or no? Yeah. Yeah. Right, give me a minute. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Hold on. I don't wanna lose the pick. Exactly. <laughs> don't lose the pick. No. Okay. I wonder how many people on the Hoffman form are now going, all right, what's next? <laughs> like what I did earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love these. I really love these that are on the back of the, um, Oh, the, the little, uh, yeah. 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 I saved these two. I mean, the, oh, all yeah, right. These, see, these are worth saving. See, they used to glue them on and then they would tear. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Glue. You know, yeah. I mean, the only one that ever came close to tearing was the, the, the band on the run one. Yeah, it, it didn't tear, but anyways, um, still, but it, you can still, still tell that it was glued. Yeah. You know? Did you buy? Did you buy the archive stuff initially when it came out? As they came out, Band on the Run. Um, starting <laughs> with starting with Ram, I did, and then I went back and but by that and time you them could all. Get them because Ram was twenty twelve. Yeah, exactly. So I get, get yeah. So then once they got Ram and found out how cool they were, then I you know I got McCartney. And I did, I think Band on the Run was the last one I, I bought just because, you know. Right. Oh, we got a comment here on our, on our live. Ed chimed in. Hi, Ed. Ed said that the Flame, official 1997 UK promotional, only mock tabloid newspaper spread. Fold out mm -hmm. full side headline. Okay. So it was from then. Okay, cool. cool. How you doing, Ed? Hope you're well. Thanks for tuning um, in, Edward. Yeah. Uh, so then now we got the. Uh, one called uh, yeah. Paul and Linda. Yeah, I'm this is the club sandwich. Oh, is that what this is? Okay. Yeah. Which is massive. I mean, I didn't realize these club sandwich. Uh... Yes, they are. I got the I got the original one in my on my shelf over there though. I don't need this. Nice. Nice. <laughs> no, I'll keep it anyway. But yeah, this is great. This, no, this is awesome. This 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 is a great one. Yeah. This is a great. This is a great issue. Oh, so they 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 gave you clubs. I'm thinking it was photos. Okay, it was clubs. Right. Here. So this is uh, summer '97. Uh, this is number eighty-two. Yep. So it had to have been close to the last, close to the end, then of club sandwich. Then huh? probably. Yeah. 
But he talks about all the songs in here. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's Sue's corner. The the, the Sue Sue. Uh, um, I forget her last name. Dale, our friend Dale talked about her. Right. Uh, she's always she was always a big uh, part of Club Sandwich. Mm-hmm. I can see the world tonight. The songs, and then there's a nice there's, there's a nice timeline in here towards the end. Um, okay. Flaming Pie timeline tells you like when the songs were written and stuff going back to the early nineties. Oh, that's great. You know, so yeah, yeah, early seventies, great day, uh, circa nineteen eighty six. Writes beautiful night, then recorded in New York, August eighty six. Yeah. Uh, August ninety one writes Calico Sky in the U S. Yeah, so that's awesome. So yeah. At, yeah, at the end there you get a timeline, which is really cool. Yes, yeah, we like that. And they, yes. And just the first the timeline. Time I think this is the first club sandwich that's been reproduced for one of these sets, right? Yeah, yeah, it sure has. Well, you know what? Let me clarify. I know in I, in the McCartney Two archive, the club sandwich is reproduced, but just on, on page in book form. Yeah, in book page. Form. It's not it's actual. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not, not, it's not its own thing. Right. Right. But still nice. You know, the, yeah. the club sandwiches, as we talked about on our episode with Dale, I mean, are just a treasure trove of information um, that is, was not widely available anywhere else at the time, in the, right. especially in the pre-internet day. You know, 97, right. you know, internet's starting to take off a little bit, but uh, still in the early mm-hmm. days. Right. So we got the back cover there. Nice picture, Paul. Yeah. So really cool. I can't wait to dig into that some more. And then we got one more uh, let's make sure that this was the uh, the last thing in here. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So then we got songbook. One more thing here. Songbook. Yeah, songbook. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Let's take a look. And at this. this now it it's every couple pages it'll have something in it. It's Ooh, really cool. Postcard. So no, oh. on on a fo- uh, instrument photos. Oh. So you got the Hofgren there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then, you know, it's almost kind of like the credits. Yeah. Oh, Flaming Pie. It has all like, well, who yeah. played what? Okay. Exactly. And then there's a picture of the Hofner base. Okay. Then you go a couple more pages and you get uh, like a uh, souvenir, you get whole life as in whole life may have been on the, the album at one time. Hmm. Um, Little Willow. And you got the uh, Mellotron. There's the Mellotron right there. Yeah. Okay. It's a couple more pages. Featured prominently in that documentary, which I'm, is Yeah. Interesting. Then you got uh, Some Days, you got Beautiful Night, and then you're looking at the uh, Peterson Classical right there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, looking for you. Looking for you. Uh, I saw you sitting, which was, you know. World Tonight. Exactly. Really love you. love you, and then heaven on a Sunday, and then you get uh, Les Paul, right there, yeah. on top. Really cool. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna uh, so find you love, you see bad. Like just writing down who did what, which is cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the EPI Casino. Epi. Yeah. Calico skies, and you got. Uh, I can see the world tonight. World tonight. Another, and another, then you got here a Gibson Les. Nice. Yep. Uh, you got a sitar, which is really cool. Ah, don't think there's any sitar on this album. Maybe no. there are. Yeah. Not sure. And that's it. So the photos are really cool. Nice. Okay. So, all right. So the photos, the photographic content is mainly all in the book. We didn't get separate photos like we had, you know, well, that other edition, the, the Uber edition has photos. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which is now what I believe like 360 on new discover with, with discounts and codes with the codes and stuff like that. So 337. 337. Was that what it was? Okay. Yeah. Which I think you and I both, if we, had, if that was the price to begin with, I think you and I both would have went in for that. Possibly. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bundle it all back in nicey, nicey. Let's see. Yes. Same here, buddy. Got the, little, got the little pull thing so you can get all the stuff out, which is nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, again, another another really great packaged uh, archive box set. Where am I going to put this? I guess I'll put this in the back and back in there. Yeah, I got them all collected uh, in a, in another spot. So. Oh, you keep them all together? Yeah, yeah, I keep them all together. I don't keep them with the actual box set. Oh, I, I keep them with the box. <laughs> I try yeah. to. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, so I think the, the yeah again the the magnetic strip here on the side I think is a really good that touch. That's awesome. Yeah. Ram should have been like that. Ram was a whole big bulky thing. Oh yeah, yeah. This is, um, boy, huh. and I'm just gonna. It's, I'm, it's gonna take months to. It's gonna take months to really process. Oh, that. absolutely, and it's gonna be great. And then, so I would say, in two weeks, we're gonna have our our full review yes. of the box set. Next week, we're gonna be we're doing, gonna, uh, gonna, or actually, yeah, right. this coming week, we're gonna do our '90s uh, non-album B-side show. Um, next week, we'll have our Flaming Pie archive box set show. Which we'll, we'll really talk about what's in the box. And, right, we'll um, go through. We'll go through the. We'll go through each track. Talk about sonically how it sounds. Obviously, we'll dive into all the bonus audio and give our thoughts on that. Absolutely. Um, as well as now, once we get a few weeks to process all this stuff, you know. Yeah. Because it's uh, it, it's, it's a lot there. there. It's a lot here, and uh, it's here. Listen, this 2020 has sucked overall, but uh, <laughs> this, this here right here is a highlight of the year. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Um, real quick before we take off the, the another, I got that other book that we were talking about the other day. This is the McCartney solo book. Oh, you got it. All yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, two thousand. Right, 1970, 2010. Two thousand ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, author John Cherry. So, um, you know, give it a give it a look, see over, and uh, see what I think. Let me know. But, uh, yeah. So another one that went slipped under my radar. Didn't know. Didn't know this existed. So. Yeah. So oh, hey, this was our first live. Yeah, first live one, and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. And uh, figure, it looks like we figured it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we did. Yeah, cool. So, so thank you, everyone. We'll have, a, we'll have an episode up on '90s B sides uh, later this week, probably on Wednesday or Thursday, where we where we tackle all the B. Uh, Tom and David in the past did uh, shows on uh, the B sides from the '70s, the B sides of the '80s, yeah. and now I wanted to kind of do a B sides one and. Uh, we kind of tackled the '90s uh, and a little, just a little bit yep. of the 2000s uh, uh, in yep. this one. So, yep. So we got that, and then we also have um, uh, Chris Selowitz on, who wrote the the definitive the, 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 the definitive bio right here yep. from 1986. Yep. So he and he also was responsible for conducting this uh, this interview, interview here from yep. 1986 as well. So look forward to talking to him about that. So a lot of good things are coming up on two legs. So check it out. Yeah. July, July 2020 was our best month ever. So thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, everybody. So yeah. we'll have this up on YouTube soon. And uh, everybody, thank you very much for, uh, for joining us. Yeah. See you next time.